Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to discuss about generations of programming languages. In the last class I have discussed about programming language types. Okay, so those are machine level language, assembly language, high level language. Okay, so programming languages are also classified in terms of generations also. So let's see. So here classification of programming languages based on generations those are first generation second third fourth and fifth generation so in first generation of programming languages the programming language was machine level language machine language so i already told in the last class machine language is nothing but zeros and ones zeros and ones so these zeros and ones only understand by the computer okay so computer only understand machine language that is zeros and ones next second level language is second generation of programming language is assembly language so in assembly language mnemonics are used okay so mnemonics are nothing but symbols mou okay. next add sub so these are the mnemonics next in third generation uh, programming languages c cobol fortran pascal c plus plus java activex that is nothing but microsoft etc was used third generation computers are nothing but this generation of programming languages are used high level language okay so here COBOL stands for COBOL stands for Common Business Oriented Common Business Oriented Language Okay Fortran is nothing but Formula Translation Okay Next in fourth generation uh, in fourth generation programming languages was net that is nothing but vb.net or ch.net etc scripting languages like javascript microsoft front page etc next fifth generation programming languages are lisp that is nothing but list processing okay next prolog so these are the programming languages Let's see one by one. The first generation programming languages are also called machine languages or 1G languages. First generation language. So this language is machine dependent. So I already told that in first generation programming language, machine language is used. Okay. So this language is machine dependent. The machine language statements are written in binary code that is nothing but zeros and ones okay because the computer can understand only binary language the sequence of zeros and ones understand by the computer advantages of first generation programming languages are fast and efficient as statements are directly written in binary language okay so here the statements are program is written in binary language so no need translator no translator is required so these are the advantages next disadvantages are difficult to learn binary codes okay so it is not possible to remember all the sequences of zeros and ones so that is the one disadvantage and difficult to understand both program and where the error occurred so it is very difficult to find out the errors rectifying errors is very difficult in machine level language okay next one is second generation languages so here second generation languages are also known as assembler languages or 2g languages so i already told that 
assembly language contains human readable notations those notations are called mnemonics okay that can be further converted into machine language using assembler because computer only understand machine level language but here assembly level language contain notations those are nothing but mnemonics like words mov sub add div mul so these are the mnemonics notations so these notations are cannot be understood by the computer so one translator needed the translator is used to translate assembly level language into machine level language the translator is known as assembler okay so here assembler assembly language is also referred as symbolic representation of machine code okay so machine code is represented in the form of symbolic code assembler is a software that converts a program written in assembly level language into machine level language okay so here this is assembly level language program so here mou mov is one notation mvi lxi add jnc inr inx so these are called notations so these notations are cannot be understood by the computer so that's why there is a there is need of translator that converts assembly language into machine language machine language contains only zeros and ones so the zeros and ones understand by the computer so that's why assembler is used to convert assembly level language into machine level language okay so here the advantage is it is easier to understand it is easier to understand when compared to machine level language so modifications are easy because human can understand these notations correction location of errors are also easy next disadvantages so assembler is required there, there is a need for translator okay next this language is architecture machine dependent with a different instruction set for different machines so for different machines you need to use different instructions so these are the advantages and disadvantages the next third generation language so in the third generation language the high level language is used so that is nothing but procedural language or 3g l 3g language it consists the use of series like english like words that humans can understand very easily okay so this is nothing but high level language high level language consists english like statements those statements are very well understood by the human so these languages cannot be understood by the computer okay it is also called high level language for execution a program in this uh, language need to be translated into machine language using compiler or interpreter okay so here we use compiler or interpreter to translate high level language into machine level language so examples of these programming languages are c c is one, also one high level language pascal fortran cobol so these are the third generation languages okay so here what is compiler what is interpreter so compiler and interpreter both are translators this translators are used to convert high level language into machine level language but there is a difference between compiler and interpreter let's see so here program written in high level language has to be converted into language that can computer can understand in the binary format okay so it is a translator it is used to convert high level language into machine level language that is binary form so compiler is a translator that translates a program written in high level language is referred as source code 
ओके सो वॉट एवर वी राइट इन बाय यूजिंग हाई लेवल लैंग्वेज दैट इज नथिंग बट सी कोबोल फोर्टन ओके सो दैट लैंग्वेज इज दैट प्रोग्राम इज नोन एज सोर्स कोड एंड कंपाइल्ड प्रोग्राम इज नोन एज ऑब्जेक्टिव कोड आफ्टर कंपाइलेशन आफ्टर ट्रांसलेटिंग द कोड दैट कोड इज नोन एज ऑब्जेक्टिव कोड सो ऑब्जेक्टिव कोड इज एग्जीक्यूटेबल एग्जीक्यूटेबल कोड विच कैन रन एज स्टैंड अलोन कोड इट डज नॉट रिक्वायर द कंपाइलर टू बी प्रेजेंट ड्यूरिंग द एग्जीक्यूशन सो ड्यूरिंग द ट्रांसलेशन ऑफ सोर्स कोड इन टू ऑब्जेक्टिव कोड दट इज द ड्यूटी ऑफ कंपाइलर सो आफ्टर कंपाइलिंग द ऑब्जेक्टिव कोड इज एग्जीक्यूटेबल कोड इन दिस सिचुएशन इट डज नॉट रिक्वायर द कंपाइलर ईच प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज हैज इट्स ओन कंपाइलर सो द कंपाइलर इज यूज टू ट्रांसलेट हाई लेवल लैंग्वेज इन टू मिशीन लेवल लैंग्वेज नेक्स्ट वन इज इंटरप्रिटर सो द पर्पज ऑफ इंटरप्रिटर इज सिमिलर टू कंपाइलर सो कंपाइलर इज ऑल्सो ए ट्रांसलेटर एंड इंटरप्रिटर इज ऑल्सो ए ट्रांसलेटर बट द इंटरप्रिटर इज यूज टू कन्वर्ट हाई लेवल लैंग्वेज इन टू कंप्यूटर अंडरस्टैंडेबल फॉर्म द फंक्शन ऑफ इंटरप्रिटर इज डिफरेंट वे दैन कंपाइलर इंटरप्रिटर परफॉर्म्स लाइन बाय लाइन एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ सोर्स कोड ड्यूरिंग द प्रोग्राम एग्जीक्यूशन बट कंपाइलर एग्जीक्यूट होल्ड प्रोग्राम होल प्रोग्राम ओके बट इंटरप्रिटर परफॉर्म्स लाइन बाय लाइन सो फर्स्ट लाइन इज एग्जीक्यूटेड आफ्टर दैट सेकेंड लाइन इज एग्जीक्यूटेड बट वेन कंपाइलर इज यूज इट एग्जीक्यूट ऑल द प्रोग्राम एट वंस ओके सो हियर एग्जीक्यूट द लाइन एंड देन प्रोसीड्स टू द नेक्स्ट लाइन दैट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ इंटरप्रिटर सम लैंग्वेजेस दैट यूज इंटरप्रिटर्स आर बेसिक एंड पाइथान सो दिस लैंग्वेजेस आर यूज पाइथान एंड बेसिक ओके एडवांटेजेस सो हाई लेवल लैंग्वेज एडवांटेजेस आर यूज ऑफ इंग्लिश लाइक वर्ड्स मेक इट ह्यूमन अंडरस्टैंडेबल लैंग्वेज ओके नेक्स्ट लेसर नंबर ऑफ लाइन्स कोर्स एज कंपेर टू द previous languages those are machine level language and assembly language some code can be copied to another machine and executed on that machine by using compiler specific to that machine okay next disadvantages so here the disadvantages are compiler and interpreter are needed translator is needed to translate high level language into machine level language different compilers needed for different machines so you need to use different uh, compilers for different machines next fourth generation language so the fourth generation languages are also called non procedural languages so here non procedural is nothing but there is no structure so if you observed third generation languages third generations are known as procedural languages so these languages contain some specific structure so you need to follow the structure while developing the programs but in fourth generation languages it is non procedural language so there is no certain order or sequence so it enables users to access a database examples are sql fox pro focus etc so these are the programming languages these languages are also human friendly to understand so here the advantages are easy to understand and learn less time required for application creations it is less prone to errors so these are the advantages and the disadvantages are memory consumption is very high so storage it occupies more memory than previous languages okay has poor control over hardware less flexible okay next last generation that is fifth generation language so these languages are also known as 5gl fifth generation language 
it is based on the concept of artificial intelligence ai it uses the concept rather than solving a problem algorithm it by using algorithm an application can be built to solve it based on some constraints we can make computers to learn solve any problem okay so computer is a dumb machine it cannot take their own decision but by using artificial intelligence we can make the computer those computers solve the solve any problems parallel processing superconductors are used for this type of languages to make a real artificial intelligence so here the programming languages are prolog lisp list processing okay so here the advantages are machines can make decisions so machines can make decisions machines can solve their problems programmer effort reduced to solve problems okay next easier than 3gl and 4gl to learn and use so it is very easy to learn and use artificial intelligence and the next disadvantages are complex and long code so you need to write lot of code for solving problems next more resources are required they are expensive too okay when compared to previous languages these are more expensive and more resources are required okay so by this this class is completed i hope it is clear if you have any doubts regarding to this video please comment me in the comment section and if you want any specific topic please comment me in the comment section for more videos please subscribe my channel thank you